Hello, and welcome to this presentation on the University of Cincinnati's University Honors Program. My name is Marcel Crawford. I'm an Assistant Director and Advisor with the University Honors Program, and it's my pleasure to serve as your presenter for today. During today's presentation, we're going to go over a variety of topics as it's related to the University Honors Program. This includes what honors is and is not, various honors experiences, requirements and benefits of the program, and some immediate next steps. Before we begin, however, I want you to think about what words come to mind when you hear the phrase honors program. You may think of things like smart students, harder classes, or more work. Take a moment to think about this and perhaps write down some examples. I anticipate that many of your thoughts are correct, and I'm sure many of you are thinking that the program is comprised of very bright and highly motivated students. And this is true. And we are different from most honors programs. So what makes us different and unique? The university honors program is experience-based rather than class-based. There's no set of courses that you must take to complete the program. Rather, you will complete five honors experiences of your choosing by the time you graduate. As to what these experiences can be, well, the sky's the limit, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in this presentation. The vision of the University Honors Program is to develop students into global citizen scholars who lead innovative efforts towards solving the world's complex problems. With the opportunities presented by the University Honors Programs, students can absolutely become change makers in whatever ways they wish. They have the support to do so as they engage in their honors experiences. The University Honors Program is comprised of students within the top 5 to 7% of students at UC. So, what does the world lose if these students are not engaged in addressing these complex problems? The program is very intentional about encouraging you to engage in activities and learning that interest you and will reflect in discovering your passions and enhancing your gifts and talents. Now, it's okay if you don't know right now what your passions, gifts, or talents are. You can discover and explore these through the University Honors Program. The great news is you'll be discovering those gifts and talents right alongside a community of peers doing the exact same thing. You have a fantastic opportunity to build a network of peers, both like-minded and otherwise, from across colleges and disciplines and diverse backgrounds, to share your journey through college and to challenge and support one another. The program builds a community of students focused on personal transformation, civic participation, and global responsibility. The key words here being transformation and participation. It is essential here that you are a participant in charting your own course. It's through this level of engagement that you'll find growth and transformation that will serve you well throughout your life to set goals, guide your decisions, and lead your trajectory. Honors experiences challenge you to gain competencies in a variety of areas. For instance, this illustrates an opportunity to develop competency in community engagement. Community engagement is all about choosing communities in which you actively participate, helping you to develop a greater sense of self by becoming informed on social issues and contributing to a collective vision for the common good. An awesome program that many honors students engage in is the Accelerating Racial Justice Program, or ARJ. It's a pre-approved honors experience and takes place for a week during the summer before school starts. It's all about building your awareness, knowledge, and skills related to racial justice and inclusive leadership. The program was developed collaboratively by students and staff across UC. This example illustrates an impactful self-designed honors experience that one of our students completed in this honors experience, our student traveled abroad to Nepal during winter break to teach English to Buddhist monks. She was majoring in aerospace engineering, and doing this was not something she, quote, had to do to be competitive for her next goal, which was working for NASA. But she was looking for creative ways to incorporate her passions for travel and service. And while it may seem at first glance that this experience is all about gaining competency in global studies, it was so much more than that. This experience also fell under the creativity competency, empowering the student to view the world with their imagination, exploring different methods to develop tools or perspectives and apply new thoughts. 
And while it wasn't required for her to be competitive to work at NASA, the experience certainly helped her become a more competitive applicant um, and achieve that goal. This pre-approved experience is a signature program offered by the University Honors. Leadership is a six-day leadership institute that challenges you to develop a vision for the future of how you would like to have an impact as a leader and of what change you would like to create in the world. As a participant, you'll explore your strengths and develop your leadership skills. You will also identify goals and learn about motivating individuals and groups towards achievement of those goals. You'll develop necessary skills for building collaborative relationships. The Leadership Institute is commonly mentioned as a favorite of students in the University Honors Program. The two pre-approved experiences on your screen highlight the research competency area and are exclusive to students in the University Honors Program. First is UHP Discover. UHP Discover is a full-time summer research opportunity in the humanities and social sciences. Students assist faculty with their research on a variety of topics, including opioids, media, globalization, education, and so on, while they also participate in weekly professional development sessions to learn more about research, graduate school, ethics, and other topics. On the right, you see the Biomedical Research and Mentory Program, or RAMP, and this pairs first and second year honor students with researchers at the UC College of Medicine or Cincinnati's Children's Hospital Medical Center. Students work part-time in a lab during the spring semester, assisting in a variety of lab work while also reflecting as a cohort through monthly professional development opportunities. Some of our students even continue to work in the labs throughout their entire undergraduate career and have had the opportunity to be published prior to graduation. And finally, many of our students are interested in gaining global competencies, engaging across cultures with an appreciation for multiple perspectives and identities, developing cultural competency and a stronger awareness of global issues. And while we can explore globally right here in Cincinnati, we also have opportunities for you to plant your feet in other locations, both across the United States and abroad. So on your screen, here are some examples of places we've studied abroad with our students. Each of these images here was taken on a study tour that accompanied an honor seminar. From studying sports and multiculturalism in Australia to studying social entrepreneurship in Montreal, We've been around the world. Students often also travel with student organizations and develop their own opportunities to go abroad. We help our students plan these international experiences with the support and expertise of the UC International Office. Every type of honors experience is an opportunity to gain unexpected learning about the world and about yourself. Perhaps the most important question we ask our students are in the realm of self-reflection. So what do you want to learn? How can we help to engage you in that learning? And what do you want to do with that learning? It gets to the answer to the question, now what? Which can guide you as you identify goals and move forward in your education at UC and beyond. And this is one of the more abstract benefits of the University Honors Program, but quite possibly also the most important you will learn how to reflect and how to do that in a very meaningful way. Now, you can have all these huge, amazing experiences. Um, and as Julius Caesar said, experience is the teacher of all things. But if we don't stop and make sense of these experiences afterwards to take the time to critically reflect, then what was the point? Your advisors in the UHP are incredible resources for you. And it's a great benefit to be able to talk with them and really identify what you did that mattered and how it mattered and what you're going to do with that learning moving forward. We know the critical importance of integrating what we learn into our future goals and experiences. And it's through that integration that students find transformation and development. There are also other benefits to the University Honors Program beyond what we've discussed. Here we will touch briefly on some of these other benefits. You have the opportunity to live in honors housing, and one common favorite memory of our students is living in that first year honors housing community. Students share that being part of that community help increase their sense of belonging and confidence and encourage them to take on leadership responsibilities across campus. Now, finding a community that pushes you to be better and do more is really important early on in college, and UHP does that for many of our students. 
Our students also receive priority registration for classes beginning in the second semester of their first year. This means that you have the ability to register earlier than the general student population and have the added flexibility in developing your schedule. Now, this is really great, especially when you would like to take an honor seminar to satisfy an honors experience. Honor seminars, by the way, are unique interdisciplinary classes on all kinds of interesting topics. They're small in size and taught by the best faculty on campus. The faculty apply to teach these courses and students help select which ones are most interesting. All honors seminars have some type of experiential component. Honor seminars aren't harder than a normal class and are generally full of great and inspiring discussions. Some seminars that have been very popular among UHP students are Understanding Religious Intolerance, The Global History of World War II with a study tour to London and Paris, and The Good Life and How to Live It. Students can also receive a little bit of grant funding to help with their honors experiences, whether that be for consumable materials, travel, or other endeavors. Something else to get excited about is the learning portfolio that you'll be keeping as a student in UHP. This is a website that you create yourself to track and reflect upon your experiences and growth over your time at UC and in the program. It's even better than an online resume. It really helps you learn how to tell your story. So now that you've heard what makes our program unique, I'll share with you a little bit about the requirements that must be met in order to graduate from the University Honors Program. Um, if you're anything like me, coming to college was an exciting prospect, but one that was filled with nerves too. Not exactly knowing what to expect, a bit of anxiety on what exactly you'll be doing on campus and trying to figure out what points of guidance you'll receive. So one of the key benefits of our program is during your first semester, you get to take this course known as Gateway to University Honors. This required course brings together honor students of all different majors to help you learn how to successfully navigate the University Honors Program and UC. And it's also full of some great conversations that are centered around you, your strengths, your goals and interests, and the impact that you can have on the world. During your first semester, you'll also have the opportunity to meet with your honors advisor. This appointment is going to be great, it's going to be fun, and you'll be able to talk with your advisor where they'll learn a little bit more about you, you'll get to learn a little bit more about them and how they can help you achieve and realize your goals. You'll also discuss what honors experiences you would like to do and just how your advisor can support you. You'll meet with your advisor your first year and then again for what's called a midpoint advising a little bit later on in your college career. A big benefit of working with these advisors is that they can help you articulate the importance of your experiences, which will be a big help when you're ready to start crafting a resume and engaging in interviews. You will create honor, an honors learning portfolio in the Gateway to University Honors course. You will update your learning portfolio after you complete an honors experience, and your advisor will be able to review it for you. And will also make sure that you're on track to graduate with at least a 3.2 cumulative GPA. Once you complete your five experiences, You'll have met all the requirements, but don't be afraid to do more, and we encourage you to do so. All first-year students will have the opportunity to meet with upper-level students and other first-year students through our Welcome to UHP events happening beginning in August. You will be put in a group with other new students, and an upper-level student will reach out to you to help answer any questions that you might have about honors, UC, or anything else. Maybe what's good to binge on Netflix. We will have some fun virtual activities planned during our welcome week and your welcome leader will continue to reach out to you during the first several weeks of the semester to ensure you are starting the year off right now there's nothing you need to do to sign up for this just keep an eye out on your email in early august for more information and then lastly a very important note for you while there are no required seminars that you must take as part of uhp i want to again stress that it is mandatory that you take the one credit hour gateway to university honors course we discussed earlier and you'll take that into fall. This course is designed to offer you a way to learn about the importance of reflection and how to incorporate it into your experiences. It'll give you a great look into understanding your strengths, values, passions, and how to weave those into your experiences in UHP. You must register for this class with your academic advisor in order to remain within the University Honors Program. Now, if you would like to take an honors seminar in the fall, you can also register for one there are still several fall seminars that have plenty of spaces left for first year students. 
Honor seminars are worth three credit hours and oftentimes they will cover a breadth of knowledge requirement that you may need for your academic program. These seminars cover a huge variety of topics. For instance, a few coming up this fall are the Science of Sesame Street, STEM Education at Immediate Age, Sticky Innovation, which you can see pictured here on screen, um, explores the colony collapse disorder threatening the bee population, and also pinball design and programming, the art and engineering of mechatronic storytelling. All of these seminars are experiential in nature, which means they will have some sort of out of the classroom component. Um, seminars are also pre-approved experiences. If you have any questions or want to learn more about honors experiences, I encourage you to attend a UHP virtual session this summer. These one hour sessions will allow you to hear from current students in the program about how they've completed their honors experiences, what they're involved in, and more. You will have the opportunity to ask them questions about UC, the university honors program, and anything else you're interested in knowing as you prepare for your time at college. If you can't attend a session, please check out our website for the recordings. So with all of that said, it's been really great chatting with you all today. I hope you enjoyed listening to this presentation and you were able to learn a bit more about the University Honors Program. And I hope you have a better concept of what UHP is all about now. If you have any more questions or hope to talk to an advisor for the program, please do not hesitate to contact us. We also highly encourage you to follow us on Twitter and Instagram where we daily put out important updates and information. And you can see what some of our students are up to this summer. So once again, thank you all very much for your time. Please enjoy the rest of your day and have a wonderful summer.